I'm concerned for this whole makeup look right now. This is not my normal combination at all. <laughs> the product right here, why is it disappearing? Like, what is going on right now? It is a line, 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 line. We're trying a new foundation today and I'm excited about it because I love trying new foundations out, especially since you all seem to like that those kind of videos. This is the Kat Von D, the Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation. This is the shade 094. Because I like to use 098 to contour in their cream foundation. So I've used that in a different video. Make sure you watch that if you want to see it. But let's get into this one right here. This might be old, but this is my first time using this. If you've used this before, comment and let me know. It retails for $42. It's a full coverage natural finish foundation, best for all skin types. It's lightweight, it's a serum, covers blemishes, acne scars, hyperpigmentation, extreme long wear formula controls shine and sweat and humidity all day, full coverage. Okay, wow. I do have the pore refining primer right here. Let's put some of this on. Now my skin is not in its best shape right now. I've got a breakout. If you don't know I have rosacea, I do have rosacea. So here's the pore refining primer. Hopefully this doesn't interact with the SPF that I already have on my skin. We are gonna find that out today, aren't we? I'm putting this just in my T-zone because that's where I care to put primer. You can put your primer wherever you feel like you need it, depending on what the primer is supposed to do. For me, I wanna see what this does in my T-zone area. A little bit on the cheeks, but more the apple of the cheeks, not the back part of it, okay? Normally the primers are made to go with the product. That's why I wanted to make sure I use this with the actual serum foundation. I hope this is my right color. Okay, this is a dark neutral color. Let's see what it does on the face. Oh, very dark and very neutral. Wow, wow. Okay, what do we think so far? 094, definitely a summer color for me. If you're using it as a shade match, this is giving summer color. This is giving, I've been on beaches in Turks and Caicos and I got a huge tan and I gotta change my foundation color, which by the way, if you are not changing your foundation shade, in the summertime and then going back to something different, lighter in the wintertime, you are doing something wrong, I'm begging you. Go into your stash. You should have two or three different shades in your stash, one of which should be for the wintertime where your skin is normally at its, I'll say neutral shade or like that's your skin tone, right? In the winter. Cause then in the summertime, you're outside more maybe. And then your skin's gonna get darker. So you need to have a darker shade of foundation for the summertime. But then when you change your shade of foundation for the summertime, you have to make sure that you're changing your concealer shade as well. And I did the video on this, but you may not have seen it, but change your concealer shade as well because if you change your foundation shade, your concealer shade needs to change. If you keep the same concealer shade, you're gonna feel like your face looks ashy. Darker foundation means a little bit of darker concealer. Your average, your light, your your baseline foundation shade can go with a lighter concealer. I hope that that makes sense to you. Comment below and let me know if you still like, excuse me. Just come in and let me know. Wow, this is matte. It's not feeling matte like Fenty Pro Filter, but this is matte. Wow. Notwithstanding the texture I have on my face, this looks really good. I'm not getting full coverage right now and I don't wanna put any more because of the texture on my face, but I can still see the middle of my nose. I can still see skin right here. I would imagine that two or three pumps would give you real extreme full coverage. I'm just gonna go easy because my skin is peeling, it's acting up, it's just going through a lot. I don't wanna cake it on today. Like my chin isn't really, cut. let me stop. Let me stop, who am I fooling? We need one more pump, okay, this is dumb. I need what I need, okay, I tried. I tried, but I can't do it. <laughs> so this is pump number two. We gonna make sure we get these areas that were looking a little bit crazy. Like my brows, I need them to be fully covered high. Just let's get them fully covered because when I do my makeup, I like for my brows to look different, hello. And I do go under, under, under the eye because I want it to blend in with the concealer. I don't want the under eye concealer to look too light because I already do a light concealer, but it needs to mix in with foundation so that it tones it down a bit, you feel me? It's going to mix. It's all going to mix together. And this is a Sigma Kabuki brush in case you're wondering, all products that I use are gonna be below in the description box. So make sure you look at that. You really can't go by how stuff looks in the bottle because in the bottle I was like this is too light for me but it looks actually dark for me okay now I've got two concealers from Tarte one is the Shape Tape Ultra Creamy and this is the shade 535 Deep Sand this is the Shape Tape Glow Wand and the shade is a blaze I'm trying to see this one is light and neutral this is gonna be warm let's go with this one under my eyes and see how this looks right you gotta look at it that way too because yeah this is good. The other one would have been way too much and I've never used this before. I think this is a new one. Hold on a second, I just realized something. The top is a stick and then what is this? 
Oh, I'm pushing this down like it's, you know, like the, the Maybelline, is it Maybelline? The one where the concealer comes out. Oh, so this is here to then, but I'm not gonna do that. Why would I do that? Look how, look at how it just goes in. If I start pressing this on my face, look, now it's onto my hand. It, this is not dense enough to do what I believe they were trying to do. That's not gonna work for me. But now I'm concerned that this shape tape is too runny. I'm concerned that it is not going to give me the application I need. I'm concerned for this whole makeup look right now. What's about to go down? Let's see. Please give me coverage. I have places to go today. Excuse me. Okay, this is glowy. Wow. Wait, is this supposed to be, it says glow wand. Does it have highlighter in it? This looks pretty. <laughs> I did not know what to expect with this. It just feels loose. It's not thick. Good God. It looks beautiful though. Do you see the glow? Wow. Oh, I'm not getting the pigment that I want. I'm gonna have to use that other concealer on top. I just want to see it more. It's melting in my skin beautifully, but I want to see the color more. I know you're looking at it like, it looks great. It does, but it's just not what I wanted. I want more full coverage. That's what it is. It looks like it's giving me sheer coverage. And that may be the point. That may be what this is supposed to do, but that's not what I want right now. This is gorgeous, by the way. It looks beautiful, but no way. Especially given how deep this foundation is, no ma'am. We need to actually see the concealer. Okay, let's take this shade Deep Sand because I need to lighten this. Oh dear God, this is very light. The mixture of the two is good. Do you see? I need more of this now. It's not enough to give me the coverage under my eye, the lightness that I want under my eyes. I don't ever use this much concealer under my eyes, but we need to fix this. This makeup sponge is damp. Make sure you watch my video where I talk about makeup sponges and how to make sure that it's not soaked and not dry, but damp. Now I do have this new product. I believe it's from um, beauty blender. I gotta look into my bathroom and it's supposed to be used dry. I'll use that in a different video, but I normally will use a beauty sponge that is damp. I'm not thrilled because of the mix, but here we are and we need to move on. So because this is what I did under my eyes, I have to do the same thing all over because I don't know, like if I just use this light one, the deep sand by itself, is it gonna be too light? I took a little bit just to be careful right now. It's it's working. Just take a little bit. If something is extremely light, take a little bit of it and then use it. Okay, it is blending nicely. It is blending nicely. So let's continue with this. I'm trying to apply just a little. This is not my normal combination at all. Because <laughs> like I said, when your concealer is too light, it's gonna give gray, you feel me? But thankfully, it's blending with my foundation nicely enough. And like I said, I didn't take too much where it's not looking gray. I can't even get my under cheek highlight the way I need it. Yo, here we go trying new products. Mm, that's what happens when you try new stuff. <laughs> How often are you trying a new foundation? I wanna know. Are you trying all the new ones? I don't even try all the new ones, but are you trying new foundations every few months or are you sticking with one that you know and love and you just don't ever change it? I wanna know. I really, really do. The leftover on the sponge is working a bit. I do trust that once I contour, it'll offset the concealer and it'll look bright the way I want it to be. Let's do that right now. And now I never got around to using this Freck Beauty Face Hack Precision Sculpting Bronzer. And this is the shade Deep, Very Cool Deep Undertone. But let's do it now because this face needs it now. Ooh. Oh, okay. I said oop like that because I was expecting the same deepness as the LYS stick bronzer. The shade is worthy deep. Now that is dark. That is one I have to tread lightly with in the best way. I actually enjoy that about it because it's so dark. This one looks like the foundation shade. This on my skin tone with this foundation looks like it was the foundation shade. Now I say that because there are nuances, right? If you were to use this in your light than me, you're gonna see it more. The foundation that I'm using is darker than usual, so this is not as visible. If I'm using this in the winter time with the foundation that is lighter than this one right now that I have on, this is going to show a lot more. Do you understand? There are nuances to it and that's why I explain it like that because it's important that you understand that there are nuances to it. So right now with this combination, it's not as visible. But let's go ahead and blend this. It's looking more like a bronzer too. Me. And I say that because I was hoping for a contour. Even though this is a sculpting bronzer, many times things will be called a bronzer, but it will come across on my skin like a contour. It's deep, but it is giving bronzer for me. It's darker here. I wanted it to be more of a contour. It's all good. Let's blend this in. All right. This is giving me a little bit of a shadow. Not intensely, but enough. I went too high right here, but we are going to fix that. It ain't no biggie, biggie. 
wiggy, wiggy, heavy, heavy. This is a Sephora 56 brush in case you were wondering. I'm gonna just be a daredevil today and go right on the side of my nose by pinching this because yeah, I could take a brush and take off the excess, but this color is so not loud that I'm just gonna go with what's left over on this brush, pinching it, and then get on the sides of my nose. But look, it's not gonna be as dark as I want it to be. It's there, it's more subtle. I need my nose to really show. Okay, let's get a different brush and really get this thing going. I'm gonna take some left over from my cheek and go down. Still loving the Patrick style one size, made for sculpt, right? Made for shade sculpt trio. I'm gonna take, let's start off at the middle and see if this is gonna be deep enough for me. This is the Sephora 59 brush in case you're wondering. Because if I go into the last one at the very bottom, it might be look, it just might look wild. Some days, depending on the foundation that I use, the bottom one could work, but not today. I do not think that today is one of those days. I'm doing it very haphazardly. It's still gonna get where it needs to go. I don't want the application to be harsh, you feel me? I just want it to be there. More powder, the middle one to go down, but I'm doing this very lightly down the sides of the nose. It's just, feather light touches because I don't want there to be a harsh line. Although I do understand that sometimes regardless, ooh, the line gonna be harsh, okay? And that's okay, we do what we can. I am not seeing this middle line down the nose the way that I need to and want to. What is going on today? Like, why can't I see the product right here? Why is it disappearing? Like, what is going on right now? I'm not into the concealers, I'm not. All right, let's fix this line of demarcation over here. And then we're going to set under the eye, obvi. I wanna make this lighter, so what powder do I have? Because I wanted to use these new Makeup Forever HD ones, but I don't believe it's gonna give me the lightness that I need right now, and right now, I need to boost this highlighter. So, I believe that this Givenchy one will do that, okay? Number five, Popoli Mimosa. Creasing is not gonna be set as a crease, right? I don't often do this, but let's do it today. Right into the product, right onto the face, although I did tap it into the inside of the product cap before I did that. Now. You could also put this on, on your hand too. Make sure you get right in the corner of that nose, okay? <laughs> I just made a mistake because I forget that I like to do my luminous press powder. Girl, when you change your routine, everything goes to hell in a handbasket. My, my, my. <laughs> You try something new, which you normally do, just be doing what it wants to do. You feel me? Okay, well, this is blending very beautifully, as you can see. Taking some more in all the other areas, you feel me? Lightly over here and over here. All right, I do feel like this contour needs to be darker. So I'm gonna go with the middle and the bottom, right? Back and forth. And then tap off some of the excess and let's just get this deeper. I just need more. Cause once I put on the finishing powder, I feel like it's gonna disappear. And I don't want that for myself. So <laughs> we are gonna deepen this. Yeah, that does feel better. And this is the same 59 brush from Sephora. And a little bit of the same mix right here next to my eyebrow. Cause it makes a difference when you have that contour going right here from the eyebrow. Makeup artist trick, baby. It makes it so dramatic. For face powder, I'm gonna use this Kosas Cloud Set powder and the shade is velvety. I always just say velvety cloud set, but you gotta say it right. <laughs> this is gonna bring everything good. We still need to highlight the face because it's Especially since I used a matte powder to set under my eye, I don't have that inherent luminous glow that I normally would have if I used the luminous pressed powder. And why are my brows starting to show again? Excuse me. I feel like I can still see my skin. I mean, that's a good thing if that's what you want. You feel me? Rare Beauty pressed highlighter, and this is the shade Flaunt Damp Sponge. Let's use this rounded part of it to go down the middle of the nose. And I'm gonna spray my face too, because it's gonna look ashy and dry, you know? I want this to look like it's melted because right now it doesn't. It looks like it's just sitting there, you feel me? Now I do have the blemishes right here, so I'm not gonna bring this highlighter down to this part because why would I want to illuminate those blemishes? Although this part did come down a lot. Yo, it's been too long since I used this press, pop, this press highlighter. It is light, 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 light. Listen, I don't know what key or keys I just used, but that's not the point. 
Thank you. This makeup is really doing styles today. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's doing a lot of styles. Okay, let's let's just use this Too Faced Insurance Makeup. Hey, makeup insurance, 18 hour long wear set and set spray. We don't want to set right now though. Dang, hold on. Is this gonna make me dry? Wait, I have not used it before. Let's not do that right now. Let's use the, okay, NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray because I do need to dewy this up. I, I do need to do, I do need to do this up. This is the product right here. I cannot, this face is looking very questionable. What's up, fan? Ah, this face is looking very questionable, okay? Yo, using this makes me really miss the uh, continuous mists. They're just more pleasant. They're way more pleasant to spray than something like this. But this is affordable. Whew, and it gets the job done. I love an orange warm tone blush on me. So this Patrick Stock Cheek Clapper 3D Blade, whatever. This thing right here, okay. And I'm using the middle one, GTFO, okay. And this is an old MAC blush brush, honey. This just looks so good on my skin. That warmth, the orange, the red. It just, 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 just. Just look at this, like, come on. For brows, you know I use the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat in the shade Natural Black, because the color matches me so well. So to brush these up right now, and then create these hair-like strokes right here in the front. And I'm angling them backward, and then creating the top outline. Strokes going from the bottom to the top, like so. Filling the bottom, outlining the bottom. Now it's thicker than I want it to be. I'm gonna fix it so it's all good. And there you have it. This eyeshadow palette is Chocolate Brown by Huda Beauty. I like this a lot. It is so perfect for the easy everyday look. I'm gonna use these two shades. This is my go-to smoky brown look, girl. It just goes with everything. No guesswork needed. Right here in the crease, isolating out the brow bone and the eyeball. And if you notice, we have not used it, an eyeshadow. <laughs> Eyeshadow base. I don't know what has gotten into me lately. I've just been trying to do the quickest thing and it does last, like it's fine. Ish. Sometimes my eyelid is real oily, but what, is it, what it is is I don't plan on doing an eyeshadow look and then I do and I'm like, oh, this is my basic everyday look. It's not basic. You can do this look for your wedding, right? <laughs> But for me, I'm like, oh, it's a quick look. I don't need to base my eyeshadow, and certainly you can and should, you feel me? If you have oily eyelids, base your eyeshadow, please. So, Sephora 14 brush. And now here we are with that dark brown eyeshadow to give us that smoky eye. And see how I'm going from left to right motions to padding it in? I want it to be packed in right here at the front of the eyebrow and then feathered off at the side. And now with the dark brown color under the eyes. And then lightly fluffing and blending this corner with a little bit of both colors so that it meets and blends nicely. Not a lot, just a smidge. And now for an eyeliner, this is the Maybelline Infallible Grip Up to 36 Hour Wear Eyeliner. I'm using the back of this brush to hold my eyes open. It just makes things easier. And I am gonna smudge underneath the eye to make it look a little smoky. And let's just use this on top as well. Just make my life easier. And I'm gonna smudge this out with this real old, but still useful MAC liner brush. Inside the eye is just not the same without a milk color chalk highlighter right inside. This is the shade Jump. Now here's mascara I have not used before. This is the Tarte Tartelette Tubing Mascara. Let's see how this looks on the eyes. I like how it's making it chunky. I like my eyelashes to be chunky. All right, here's the finished look. I think it, it, it all came together, I can't lie. The face came together, I love this lip combo. The inside of this lip is Makeup Forever, Rouge Artist, Forever Matte. The shade is 192. And then the outside, of course, is my Lip Bar Savage Lip Stain. The two, the combo just looks delicious. I like how the inside is a peachy, pinky, ready color, I don't know. But comment and let me know what you think about this look. Again, all links are below, including these lashes, in case you love them. And I'll see you in the next video, bye. Thank you.